Oil is hard to find because it's geologically rare. It's trapped in very specific rock formations formed under very specific conditions hundreds of millions of years ago. This isn't a game of petroleum peekaboo. It's hard to find and it takes a lot of skill to extract. So if scarcity is a narrative, it's one filed under non-fiction. And if Chris wants to question it, he's going to need stronger evidence than some Soviet-era propaganda, a half-remembered pub conversation, and a meme he once saw on Telegram. Look, I'm not saying I have all the answers, because I don't. But I do think that we should be asking better questions. Because when the science doesn't match the story, somebody's selling you something. The real reason that Chris is drawn to this fringe theory has nothing to do with geology. It's because the conventional evidence-based account ties oil to carbon, specifically ancient carbon. And if it really is the fossilized residue of once living organisms, then burning it reintroduces that carbon into the atmosphere, which as we now understand is accelerating global warming. But Chris doesn't want global warming to be real. He wants to feel morally absolved for his own consumption. He likes being outraged by net zero and geoengineering projects that intend to take back this carbon. And perhaps this is the narrative. The narrative is wishful thinking. He's not challenging theories. He's searching for a loophole. The narrative that gets him off the hook. 